Hello everyone, Chris Martinson, CEO of Peak Prosperity here with another coronavirus update for you. Today is January 25th, uh, it's Saturday, it's probably about mm, five o'clock in the afternoon here. I've been, all day long, I've been uh, looking for new information and, and here's what we've got. Let, let me tell you this by the numbers. So this is coming out of China now. There are 1,370 cases that they're reporting, 41 deaths, uh, 38 cured, they're saying, 28 cases confirmed in 10 countries, get to that in a second, and now 30 cities or provinces have launched the highest emergency response level. That's level one. That means no travel in or out of 30 major areas, including, let's turn to this right now. Dan, bring this up. Look at this. Um, this is from a Richard Kai saying, uh, Beijing just declared a first level emergency response. All interstate transportation services going in and out of Beijing are suspended beginning tomorrow. So I can only imagine the rush that's going on of people trying to get in or out, but they're closing the city off for one of two reasons. One, the virus hasn't made it there yet and they're trying to stop it, or it's already there and, and now they can't uh, have it spread any further. I think it's the former. We don't know that yet at this point in time. So right now, these figures don't stand up for me because that 1,371 cases, that's the same number I had last night. Here it is, 12 hours later, same number of cases, it's frozen and China's going out and stopping all transport in and out of Beijing. I mean, what is, whatever your local biggest city is, if you're in the United States, whether it's Los Angeles or New York or, or it's London because you're in the UK, think about your largest city, multiply it by two, and then think about blocking all transport in or out of that city. Now, how long do you think that can be sustained? A day, two days, three days? Look, these viruses take time to burn through. I am encouraged by the fact that we're not seeing a reported explosion in the number of cases. That's very positive. Uh, we've seen a little bit of transmission human to human outside of China, but I haven't seen the cases show up like I thought. Um, so getting back to it, we see in Thailand, five confirmed cases. Australia has four. Uh, Japan, three. Singapore, three. France, three. Malaysia, three. Not bad. So that's actually really hopeful at this point in time. Maybe this thing isn't spreading quite as wildly as we thought. On the other side, we do have some emerging data that says, what is the R naught of this? Again, that's the transmissivity of this. How easily does it spread? How virus-like is it? And uh, when we had looked at that data, it's a little bit of kerfuffle about, is it 3.8, is it 2.5? A lot of uh, <laughs> feathers got ruffled. It doesn't really matter whether it's 2.5 or 3.8. This is a very infectious disease, more than capable of creating a pandemic. The way you stop that, of course, is with complete cessation of people interacting with each other. Really gripping video that came out today of um, Huabei in China, somebody driving right up a big city street and it's just deserted. It, lo it looks like one of those ghost town movie sets that, that Hollywood would show after, you know, the day of The Walking Dead's about to start. Just nobody seen. That's how you stop something like this. People go dark, they go and they hide out. The concern I have is that lasts as long as the food or water in those homes or apartments. So we'll see how long this can, can last, but for now, encouraging that the numbers haven't been vaulting up, but I'm suspicious about that because of the fact that Beijing just went under a level one emergency on this whole thing. So that's where we're at right now. We're still continuing uh, to follow this. If you come by Peak Prosperity, we got another report up today in there from our own member, Sand Puppy. Big shout out to you, big guy. Uh, he put up a beautiful list by, he's an ER professional, about what he would do and what he thinks everybody should do should the pandemic come to where you are, steps you should take, and you should really be prepared to self-treat uh, as much as possible at home. Don't go to the hospital was his advice unless you really, really have to. That's something I think people in China are already discovering. As well, you got to prepare for this. Food, water, the basics. We have a nice list there of things you should consider, and it's just basic precautions. Listen, we all hope this is going to blow over. Probably will. We don't know that for sure yet. So, buy the food, buy the water, buy the provisions, and then later we all laugh about it and you can donate them, but you're gonna feel much better having those in your house. So that would be my advice right now. We're still tracking this, it's changing. I reserve the right, of course, to change my opinion about everything if I get new data tonight, because that's our commitment. We change when the data changes. So we're following it as best we can. Come by Peak Prosperity to follow it. Until next time, that's my update.